Next comes partitioning. And we are allowed to select automatically partition or manually partition. I suggest going with manually partition, uh, just so you know exactly where everything is being put. And we'll go forward. Um, here you'll notice that uh, my setup is that I have two hard drives. SDA is my uh, Windows Vista installation. SDB is uh, where I want to put Save on Linux. I'm going to double click on SDB1 here. It's a, a small 100 megabyte uh, X3 partition. From this pull down mount point menu, I'll make that the boot partition and click OK. I've already formatted uh, using gparted, so I'll hit the do not format button here. SDB2, similar process, I'll make it the root partition. and SDB3 is my uh, swap partition. Going forward, we have here the bootloader installation options. Save on Linux uses the grub bootloader, um, which is capable of launching uh, Linux distributions, Windows, it's very versatile. Um, and you'll notice in this list that it has detected both my Windows and uh, Savion installation. We can optionally add a bootloader password for some extra security by clicking use a bootloader password and I'm going to click Configure Advanced Bootloader Options uh, to see what we can do there. This is where we can specify uh, exactly where we want to install the bootloader. Uh, we can also customize the uh, bootloader uh, kernel parameters here, though I'm not going to get into that. Um, but I do want to do something uh, a little bit unusual with where I want to install the bootloader. Because I have Vista on SDA, and Vista can be a bit particular about uh, its bootloader, I want to leave uh, the bootloader on SDA intact and install grub to the master boot record of SDB instead. To do so, I'm going to click Change Drive Order, click on SDB in this list, hit the Up button to the right, and click OK. And if you look closely here, you'll notice that uh, this option here has changed from record bootloader on SDA master boot record to record bootloader on SDB master boot record. So that's the option we want. Uh, you also have an option to install the bootloader to uh, the boot partition SDB1. I'm going to click forward. Um, now, as a side note here, um, when installed through the Sabayon uh, Linux installer, uh, Grub has always been able to boot Vista just fine uh, for me, but I still like to leave my uh, Vista bootloader intact uh, just as an extra precaution if I need it sometime. Uh, next on this panel, uh, we get to configure our uh, 
network connection so that when we first boot up uh, our installed version of Savion Linux, the network connection will be working right out of the box. We don't have to uh, go through any GUI at all to configure it then, even, uh, even if we're working with static IP. So if you want static IP, you can click the Edit button here, deselect, configure using DHCP, and uh, enter your parameters, uh, your addresses in here and down here. You can also give your uh, computer a name by clicking manually and typing it in here if you don't want the host name set automatically via DHCP. Going forward, we select our time zone. And lastly, we uh, create our passwords, our administrator or root password, our super user name and password, and you can add any additional accounts you want by clicking the Add button here. Then when you go forward from there, uh, you will see one last screen asking you to confirm. And you can go forward from there, and the installation begins. So that's a quick tour of the Savion Linux 4.0 installer. Thanks for joining us.